If we're right about the prevalence of fetal alcohol in Canada or in the Western world, it's one in a hundred folks, maybe two in a hundred folks, have brain damage from the same source. That's an epidemic. If you assume it's a hundred, one in a hundred, then in a country with 34 million people, you have about 340,000 people with this condition, with another four or 5,000 people being born every year. The full diagnostic capacity of Canada is about 1,000, maybe 1,500 diagnoses a year. Many of the diagnostic slots for fetal alcohol are shared with other conditions like autism. So even though you have a capacity for 1,500 diagnoses, you're not even making that many. So every year we actually are missing an opportunity to identify more and more people. Because we're not counting correctly, because we don't have good prevalence numbers, we also don't know if any of our prevention efforts are actually effective. So, we need more diagnostic capacity. Why aren't people getting diagnosed? In part because we don't have good interventions for them. People come for diagnosis if they think they're going to get real help. So we need better interventions because that will drive diagnosis, which will then drive in interventions. We absolutely have to do prevention. Part of diagnosis is it identifies women at high risk for prevention, but we, we've got to turn off the tap. We have to protect as many babies as we can from this disorder, and we have to do surveillance so we understand what we're doing. I've been in this field my whole professional career. I've been doing this since 1975. Um, I really thought we'd get farther by just telling the story of fetal alcohol talking about these numbers, that's not enough. That's clearly not enough. We have to move people through their zone of discomfort. We have to get people to understand this is a problem that can be approached, dealt with, helped effectively. And the urgency has always been there. My urgency is my urgency. I just can't stand it anymore. I physically hurt when I think about all of the needless suffering from this condition.